Hi knife fans. This is my Kru custom slip joint. Kru is a custom knife maker from South Africa, aka Willem O'Kelly, and he makes all sorts of incredible knives using fantastic different materials, um, giraffe bone, different uh, unusual South African woods. Um, he, he makes some absolute works of art. Uh, so I contacted him and asked if he would make me this sort of sodbuster, custom shaped sodbuster using copper and brass. Now I'd always wanted a copper and brass knife. So I took the opportunity to get him to make me one. And this is what he made, absolute corker. So it's got copper scales, brass pins, pivot, and this little star inlay. And you can see it's also got these brass liners. And the rest is uh, steel, the spring and the blade. Pretty nice, huh? Now it's heavy and it smells of, of copper, but there's something incredibly tactile about that. And the copper, because it's a, it's a good conductor, it warms up in your hand. So, you you know, just holding it for a few minutes and it gets nice and warm. Now, this patina uh, has, is, has been acquired over a few months. Uh, it originally came very shiny and you couldn't differentiate the copper or the brass. But over time, the copper has darkened to this deep copper colour and the brass has remained sort of shiny. Now I'm sure if I were to uh, rub this uh, more, it would become shiny again, and I could get a bit of brasso and, uh, and clean that up. Um, but that's the beauty, I'm just gonna give it a quick polish. That's the beauty of copper, in that it's a, sort of a living material. It changes as you use it, or as you don't use it, it just changes, and it's really nice, I like that. Let's have a look at the, the knife in detail, shall we? So this is the blade, uh, not polished, uh, I'm not, sort of a satin finished blade. Uh, we've got the Kru stamp uh, just there. There's this sort of uh, mottling effect on the bits of the blade that haven't been ground and sharpened. Um, that's a bit of a signature of, of Kru's. And nail nick just up here. And it's a drop point blade that's my uh, preferred sort of blade and the whole knife itself is is sort of sodbuster pattern um, slightly customized sodbuster pattern it's a mixture of a sodbuster pattern and a cotton sampler um, if you know what those are bit of a mishmash of, of styles but this is exactly what I was after it's absolutely beautiful I think anyway so we'll come back to the details. We've got this pin, the pivot here, which uh, is brass, sort of bird's eye pivot. The little star inlay, which is also brass. And then the pin and the uh, another little pin here in the corner. Uh, that doesn't go all the way through. This pin here does does go all the way through. That's, that's for the spring. This is just to keep the scales on. Um, and... Uh, Brass uh, lanyard tube. The liners are brass, as I said, and uh, I think that adds a real subtle element to it, really attractive. Now the fit and finish is absolutely perfect, uh, flawless. Um, the snap, it's got a half stop, and the snap is something else, isn't this? Beautiful. Now the pull is quite stiff, um, I'd say maybe an eight. It's very stiff. Um, you can do it though. But it makes for a very reassuring knife once it's open. I mean, it's, it's, it hasn't got a lock. It's a slip joint, but it's very, very strong. So that's kind of reassuring. I'll just measure it for you so you can have a look, uh, get an idea of the scale. The cutting edge of the, sorry, I've just gone off camera. The cutting edge of the blade is just six and a half centimeters. Uh, seven and a half all told and the length of the whole knife open is just 17 centimeters the blade is quite chunky it's a three millimeter thick blade so it's a good strong sturdy blade and it locks you know it's absolutely solid lock there well it's not sorry 
it's a slip joint lock, but it's a very, very strong and solid. The uh, scales, so the copper scales are very thick, four millimeters, I would say, either side, and the whole thing is 1.4 centimeters thick. So a really good, chunky, heavy piece, which is just really satisfying. And it's, it's a very tactile piece, something that um, I'm, I just, I'm just happy to, to hold, not necessarily use. I haven't actually cut anything with this. Um, so let's, let's have a go. Uh, I did actually, I say, I say I haven't cut anything. I cut my finger with it. I don't know why <laughs> on knife videos they're always cutting pieces of paper. I mean, I understand it's it shows the sharpness of the blade, but um, anyway, so I, I just thought I'd join in with that. That's it, really. That's my Kru custom-made copper and brass knife. Like it? It's nice. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more knife and watch. I do not knife videos. I also do watch videos and EDC stuff. Have a look around my channel. You might find some other stuff that you'd like to watch. Please do subscribe, that would really help me out. And leave me a comment. I'd uh, be fascinated to hear what you think about my custom knife. It's nice, isn't it? All right, see you soon.